Hello everyone, my name is Jose Valle. I am part of the Court of Strategic Management as part of uh, as part of our course we need to present which is a presentation in detail about the, the World Bank Corporation, the strategic management uh, in reference to the study that I already did about this corporation. Walmart was created in 1962 based on a, a strategy of low prices and risk expansion. Was uh, founded for Mr. Sarwanto. During the 90s, Walmart intensively expanded its presence in the rest of the world, having warehouses in different places of the world like Mexico, Argentina, Chile, Nicaragua, ja Japan, and China. Walmart is one of the biggest retail companies in the world. He will say he will have in revenue in 2018 524 billion. As a big company, they already made mistakes in the past. In the 2016, they it had to withdraw from Germany and South Korea for not being able to adapt to the taste of these more sophisticated markets. Today, Walmart is a, is a leader. It's a leader as a global retailer, creating creating common social and a good environment, not just for the customer, for the associates too. One of the most important things that uh, have a Walmart is that in, when they made a contract which issued the supplier, they find that cover the environment. It's so important for them. Let's talk about a little bit about mission, vision, and Walmart goals. Vision. Sells the associate and customer with compassion and integrity by improving the quality of the, of this of this life. It's not just for the customer that is in them and its associates. They want to give a quality of life for all the communities that is around them. The vision, as a multi-operator former company, Walmart always wants to offer the best value for the money. Good price or lower price, good quality. The goal, still doing the best discount store of the world. And Walmart wants that any time that the customer visit them offer a pleasant shopping experience. And one of the most important things of one of the priorities of Walmart is the relation with the suppliers. Through this relation, they will they will be able to offer to the end customer lower price and a good quality. When we are looking at the strategy that using Walmart for expansion, it divides in two areas: domestic and international. When we are looking domestic, they expand toward other states, remodeling existing stores. They are beginning the concept, the a green concept, that is a new uh, marketing concept, uh, that they are looking suppliers or brands that manufacture sustainability products, that uh, this product is not affect the environment. And the third one is, and one of the most important, is that Walmart always negotiate with the top executive. It's never negotiate with the manufacturer representative. His goal is any time that will make or begin a negotiation, they go to the top management of the supplier. In the case of international, they are already in Mexico and Canada. They already expand in this uh, two territory. They are looking to expand to Argentina and Brazil. Uh, they are going in two different ways. Joining virtual acquisition. One of the things that they are doing right now, based on the failure from the past, is that they are looking two different ways to address to enter the territory. Join venture or acquisition. Depend on the research that the, the feedback from the research is depend what is the way that they will do for enter to this new territory. Competitive advantage the world man. When we are talking about competitive advantage, we are talking about all three different areas. Low cost, 
business design and your magazine. Low cost, Walmart don't need a third party. It has its own trunking company. Other things, the business design, the high bargain power with the provider is part of the business design of the Walmart. Why? Walmart has a big network, big data network, and this share which is a supplier this data network. Any time that he that they sold a unit in one of the stores, the suppliers know what already sold Walmart. And they, with this information, the supplier, they, they will be able to know how many parts needs Walmart. They manufacture and send very quickly to the distribution center. When they when 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 the truck arrives to the distribution center, Walmart use a agile, agile logistic. When we are talking about agile logistic, we are talking that, that they use cross docking. What is the cross docking meaning? That any time that arrives a truck at the same time, they put the the, the merchant that, that is arrived to a other truck that they are sent directly to the store. With this agile logistic, Walmart don't waste don't waste time. Really, this company don't waste time. Uh, when we are talking about the supply, uh, the chain supply management, and the third one that maybe is not the less important is the culture. Walmart sell to the associate that everyone is part of the company, that everyone is belong to the company. When they will sell this station to the to the associate, the associate pass this uh, expectation to the end customer and they offer a very good customer service because they feel that they are part of the company. The name of the game for Walmart, logistic management. They are very agile when we are talking about logistics. The contour replacement that we stock products just inside the strategic collaboration with is a key activity with the suppliers. This is one of the most important things that Walmart is very urgent. Uh, working with his supply, we stocking the feed just in time. The other aspect is core of sales. They use the efficiently the distribution, distribution strategy, very efficiently. They are still optimizing the designs and if any time that he, he found a failure, it's optimized. And the last important thing, they create a huge distribution channel network. They have a lot of suppliers, it has a bargaining power with these suppliers, and they decide what is supplier manufacturer for them. Walmart use a state of the art technology. When we are talking about the state of the art technology, they put in each item a sticker with a built in microchip. In this microchip, they have the information or contain the information of price, origin, brand, and place of production. The, when I'm talking about place of production, is the company that is containing. With this information, one might be able to have the total control of the merchandise that they produce, dispatch, and sell in any time. Well, we are talking about the SCWT of Walmart. Uh, a little bit, we are the concern of each one of the parts. Uh, when we are looking at company strength, Walmart, everybody knows what is Walmart. We know that Walmart has a variety of products and they sell in, in, in volume, in scale, putting little margin in each of the items. Every low, every day, low prices. This is the main concern of the main idea that Walmart offer to each customer. The company opportunities, they are already trying to introduce the products in developing countries. And one of the sectors that Walmart wants to develop right now is in the organic and gluten free. Because they have a huge sector that is growing right now and Walmart wants to attack this market in specific. Company trend uh, treats, we are know that Walmart receives some land, land suits for harming the environment and based on what is going on with the COVID is affect directly all the retail uh, field or the retail territory for 
all for, not just for Walmart for other competitors because the people don't want to spend too much money. Company weakness, uh, Walmart in the past received some complaints about abuse and discrimination because they offer low salaries in some places in some places. And in direct this affects Walmart, the customers, uh, the customer of Walmart, because is the associate don't feel involved that is part of the company, they don't be offered uh, to the end customer uh, a good service. Quarter five four for Walmart. Rivality between competitors. The industry has been exploited by almost 100%. You have big competitors that attack the whole market. A low degree of differentiation because everyone is be able, any of these companies be able to reach the same provider. Uh, and when I talk about the three of the new entrants, is all the new entrants needs to invest a high, a high capital uh, because you need to when when you try uh, to sell in volume, you need uh, to invest a lot of money, you know, for get the equipment and trying to sell in volume. Three, the substitute really doesn't exist because everyone, all, all the companies that is part that share the territory, they all be able to reach the same supplier. Bargain of power for the suppliers, well. The industry represent mainly by the suppliers. Everyone, all the companies that is uh, participate as retail, they will be able to reach the same supplier. And the the, the big difference, what is Walmart be successful? What they are doing is that Walmart he he will cut his operation, doing more efficiently their own operation, and with these savings. They pass the savings when they cut operation to the end customer, reducing the price. This is what I'm talking about that the price is established and depend on what they the competitor manage is depend what they the end prices that they will see the, the end customer. From his beginning, Walmart, the, the target audience was the low income customer. In this moment, Walmart, they are looking to target the high income uh, public customers uh, putting sold articles especially for these customers. The, well, let me talk a little bit about the marketing mix of Walmart. Distribution. In the case of Walmart, they put distribution centers in strategic places very close to the stores and with a, a still the technology using the cross docking station they will be able to send it to the store what they didn't want one of the when we are talking about products we are talking about the Walmart proofs uh, made every share or taste what the customer wants and um, based of this feedback that they receive they figure out what they put in any stand in any store. Depend on the, uh, if you will visit a Walmart in Texas, you will see some items completely different than if you, if you visit a Walmart in Wyoming. Are completely different because this is part of the feedback that I receive that the customer wants what they figure out, what they really put in the store. Promotion is so important. The promotion Walmart use just for advertising 1% in compare with the 2 or 3% that use the competitor. Calling the prices and pass the savings to the end user, that is the customer. Everyday low prices, this is the main idea of Walmart from its beginning. And the last thing is that the providers of Walmart are part of the own network that they have a, 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 bar, a, a bargaining power to all of these providers. What was my findings? Why 
poor man is successful what they are doing one of the, the, the first things is they already integrate the technology to supply chain use big data use a very a very large logistic using the cross docking using the technology the radio frequency chip that is intelligent chip that put in each item and will all this all this part together the main con the main contribution is that they offer a lower price every day to each customer from the beginning one of the main ideas of San Huerto was to sell in a scale and volume with little margin this is the name of the game when we are talking about worldwide. Everyday low prices, he has, they has his own fucking company. They don't need a third party for delivery. They have a very agile operation, agile operation. They put it the distribution uh, centers very close to the store and the unique culture. They sell to the, their own associates that the associates feel that they are part of the company, that they are belongs of the company. And this is when when the associate feel in this way, the customer service that they offer to the to the client that visit every day the store is very solid. Well, my recommendation to Walmart is think local, actual global. Very simple. In the past, Walmart never shared the knowledge between units. I think that Walmart needs to share the past knowledge to improve what they will do in the future. Worldwide learning. I know that Walmart failed in Germany, entering in the German territory and Japan. And Japan. Why? Because he's trying to use the same strategy that you did in the United States in international. A, a, a big mistake. Because we are talking about different customers and different scenarios. One of the things that is already changed Walmart in this moment is that Walmart, before enter or a new territory, they made a deep research of the area. And with this feedback, each decide will be the, the best way to enter in this market. It's a new market, as a sample. One of the things that they made a little change is that they hire people from the same territory that they want uh, uh, to put the, the new company. This is one of the things that is, is a good deal. Why? Because you put an associate talking with the customer, with the customer that has the same customer. And this is part of the adaptation process. process. That if you are hire people for the same territory and put people talking uh, one to each other in the same turn, you will be more easy to buy business. And uh, as a last word, I would like to give uh, thanks for the opportunity uh, to the professor and for all the people that participate in this class. Really, for me, I enjoy it any moment that I share with you guys. Uh, I decide, I'd, uh, I wish that you enjoy your Christmas with your loved ones and uh, that the new year are trying a lot of good things for everyone. I give my blessings to everyone, and if you have any question or any doubt about what I already explained in my presentation, let me know, and we are, for me, will be glad uh, to explain everything, uh, uh, any matter that you need to, uh, uh, any matter that you want that to explain to you, I will do it this is any issue. Thanks a lot, brethren to everyone, and that God uh, bless everyone. Bye.